Hey everyone, Christina here. So I have a confession to make. I actually reviewed this wig six months ago and just forgot to upload the video. But I was thinking to myself, it actually worked out really perfectly because so often I do reviews on wigs when I first get them out of the box and they're brand new and it's all great. But very rarely do I ever make the time to come back on and give you a review of how that wig has held up and my thoughts on it. I'm always happy to give you my thoughts if you ever reach out to me after you see an old review, if you want to know what my thoughts are six months, a year, two years later. Um, but I thought this was a great opportunity to show you what my initial thoughts on this wig were and then also come back and tell you what I think about it now. So let's see what I had to say about this wig six months ago. Hey everybody, I have a fun wig review for you today. This is not a synthetic wig. This is a human hair wig. It is absolutely stunning and it deserved its own special spotlight. So that is what we're going to do. So this piece is really special to me. Um, I had the pleasure and opportunity to kind of work with Ali over at Stacked Hair on this piece. So she was actually interested in trying to replicate some um, popular synthetic colors. So it just so happened that I have been dying and searching for a human hair wig that I could kind of wear interchangeably with my blonde synthetics. So I wear synthetics for everyday wear. <clears throat> my human hair wigs, all of them are longer pieces. They're mostly brunette. Um, and so they're such a far departure from kind of the look that I've been wearing lately. And so I've had already been wanting to find a human hair wig that I could kind of switch out for special occasions and special events. So when Allie reached out about that, I was so happy to help um, because I think it's such a fantastic idea. I think that there is a place in your closet for synthetic and for human hair. Um, I think that synthetics are great for everyday wear and to kind of preserve your more expensive um, investment pieces. And so I just thought it was a fantastic idea. So this was actually a piece that she replicated for me in my absolute favorite Raquel Welch color, which is Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato. So this right here is Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato from Raquel Welch. This is my wavy day wig. And this was the piece that she um, put together for me. I told her the you know length that I wanted and kind of the cut that I wanted. And I like legitimately almost teared up when I put this wig on. I actually got it when, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I have a little tickle in my throat. I actually got this wig um, from Allie in person from the Chicago Hair Loss Sisterhood Retreat. Um, Allie actually joined us on that and she brought this wig for, uh, for me and she never sent me pictures. She never sent me anything. So it was a complete surprise um, from the get-go when I got to, to put it on and see it. And it just was everything and more that I wanted. I legitimately have never been so in love with a wig and this wig was literally something that I put on and I was like this just feels like me it just feels so comfortable that it was exactly what I wanted color wise the cut was perfect um I love how it just sits just past the shoulders so when I first got this wig it was um, curled and since then I have just washed it for the first time since Chicago in October um, and it was really hard for me to stop wearing this wig because I was like this isn't what I got it for I got it to um, I got it to kind of you know just wear for special occasions so I've kind of gotten back to wearing my synthetics throughout the week but I wanted to show you guys this wig because it is absolute freaking perfection um, so let me get up close. So this is actually my first stacked hair piece um, for my own personal collection. I've seen stacked wigs um, in person, one other stacked wig in person, um, and it was just the hairline was like blew me away. So I've been dying to get stacked um, hair for myself. And if you are familiar with stacked hair, 
it can be kind of difficult to get your hands on one. She is a one woman show. She has her hands in every single piece herself. These are not stock colors. So she is not just churning and burning and putting a label on it and marking it up. She is actually getting into each and every piece and coloring it herself. Um, so she's not one of those uh, wig makers that's gonna have you know, a huge stock. She's a one woman show. Um, but she is an absolute gem of a human being, which just makes me love her pieces even more. Um, she, one of the things that stood out to me when I met her in Chicago was she is just such a like loving, kind hearted person. And she does not feel any sense of competition with other brands. Um, she, I think I, I'm going to paraphrase, but you know, in her mind, she wants there to be more competition. She wants there to be more brands because women are out there needing these pieces and she can't personally keep up with it. So she doesn't want women to go without. And so I just, I was so moved and touched by her. Um, and she just has such a special heart. And so do the other two women that work with her there, Lauren and Vanessa. Um, so anyways, I kind of got off on a tangent there, um, but there is the hairline. It is just gorgeous. This piece is so incredibly comfortable and lightweight. Um, I literally do not feel like I'm wearing hair when I wear this wig. It is so comfortable. The cap construction is so comfortable, but just this color, you guys, is, I mean, she nailed the perfect ashy blonde without it going gray she just nailed it because ashy blondes can tend very easily to go way too far on the gray side but she just has the perfect amount of warmth in this blonde um the rooting is absolutely stunning i am just a huge fan so like i said i just washed this piece and i straightened it and it looks absolutely adorable both ways, but super easy ear tuck, which you know I love, but just an absolutely stunning piece. I love how she had this cut. Um, I'll give you a 360 here. But this is 18 inches long. Um, and yeah. This is my replica of shaded iced latte macchiato from Raquel Welch. And let me show you the cap construction. Show off my crazy hair to you guys. So this is a full lace top wig, human hair. Um, it has the ear tabs with the clips for added security if you like to use clips. I personally don't use the clips. Um, I just keep them... Um, I just keep them closed. I find that clips tend to kind of irritate my pull on my hair and I just, I, I don't feel like I need them. But if you do like those um, clips on the ear tabs, they are there. It has the comb at the bottom. So you can kind of just tuck that under your wig grip for some added security. <clears throat> but it is just a really nice, stretchy, comfortable wig. It has the adjusters at the bottom. So this size is, um, I think she said it's a medium, but it does, I think she said it fits a little bit more on the larger side of medium, which I don't necessarily mind. Um, I think it fits perfectly comfortable for, for me. So I was really happy with, um, how it fit me. So let me put it back on. <clears throat> but just an absolutely gorgeous wig. The hair is really soft. Um, it holds a curl really well. So when I had it curled, um, I would kind of just freshen up the curl, uh, a couple of the curls, you know, every time that I wore it, but it held a curl really well. It washed beautifully. Um, when I, I always air dry them upside down cause I like to have a little, 
you know, volume at the, at the roots. So you can kind of tell that I achieved that. <laughs> um, so I always, when I wash my wigs, I air dry them overnight and I just hang them upside down. That way I can get nice volume, um, and lift at the root. And then I will just go in, put my heat protectant on, and then I will just style them, um, then in there. So I wanted to kind of wear this one straight for a little while before I uh, curled it again, but it is absolutely adorable both ways. So stacked hair, if you have the opportunity to get your hands on one, you will not be disappointed. Like I said, her work is absolute art. She is fantastic at what she does. Um, and she's a good human being. Their customer service is just next level good. They actually care. Um, if you ever have questions, they are, both of those girls, um, Vanessa and Lauren, are very, very responsive. So you can just DM them, email them, um, and they are so incredibly nice and helpful. So anyways, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. If you have any questions on this wig, um, or questions about anything else in general, please leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Okay, so as you can tell, I obviously really loved this wig when I first got it, and I still absolutely love it. It is my favorite human hair wig that I own, and it is just heads and shoulders above any other wig that I've ever had my hands on. Um, the hair itself has held up incredibly well. I've washed this wig probably five or six times at this point. I've worn it quite frequently. This is probably my most worn human hair wig. Um, just because it does um, easily kind of transition between my synthetics and this wig. So it just feels like a really comfortable human hair to throw on my head. Um, but the hair itself, the color, everything has held up really well to washing. The hairline is still absolutely gorgeous and impeccable. I have not noticed any shedding with this wig. I mean, you might get one or two hairs after you wash it and you're combing it out, but I have noticed no significant shedding on this wig whatsoever. And like I said, this color, I was actually really surprised because I was a little nervous that because it's an Ashley, Ashley blonde, that it might be a little more difficult to maintain. But the only thing that I wash it with is the Moroccan oil uh, moisture repair. I think it's moisture repair. It's the moisturizing Moroccan oil shampoo. I mix that with a little bit of purple shampoo. And then I just gently wash this wig, kind of let it sit in there for a minute or two, um, just to kind of tone the, the blonde and keep it in that cool ashy range. Um, and then I always just do a really good deep conditioning treatment on it and it has just held up so well. I usually will let it air dry mostly all the way through. Um, and this last time I took my round brush just through the mid to ends to kind of smooth them out um, and dry them all the way, but it dries pretty much straight. Uh, it might need a little bit of flat ironing or curling if you wanted to wear it curly, but this wig is just an absolute workhorse and I know that I'm gonna get a ton of wear out of it um, for quite a long time. So I, if you ever reach out to me for advice on human hair wigs, this company is always the first name to come off my tongue. It is great quality. Allie has her hands in every single piece. Um, and it, and it really reflects when you get that piece. She customizes every hairline. She colors it herself. Um, and she actually really, truly cares about the product that she's putting forth. So she stands behind it and the customer service over at Stacked, if you've ever talked to any of the women there, whether it be Vanessa, Lauren, or Allie, you immediately know that they are just different from the rest. Like they don't even really care if you buy a wig from them. They just want you to get what you need in your journey. And whether that be that something, another brand is another, you know, good fit for you, then they're more than willing to help you find something um, that may be a better fit if they aren't what you necessarily need. Um, so I feel like there's something to be said from, for that. They don't just look at their customers as dollar signs. They really truly care and they all deal with this same thing themselves. And it really shows in their customer service. So for that alone, I highly recommend um, stacked hair because you just can't go wrong. Her pieces are incredible um, and they are worth every single penny. 
and I cannot wait. I am desperately just stashing my pennies away um, to get my next stacked piece because it is just, it's the best human hair that I've owned and I will stand by them till the better end. So anyways, I hope that this was helpful that you got to see this beautiful piece after six months of love and wear and washing. It is still as beautiful as the day as I got it. So anyways, I hope that y'all have a wonderful day. Please let me know if you have any questions or leave them in the comments below. Bye.